Imagine this, you meet a girl that you really like and initially she seems interested and is even kind of pursuing you but she then loses interest or does she? Right, that's what you need to determine whether or not she has actually lost interest in you or if she has just changed her approach with you. For example, sometimes a woman will stop pursuing a guy that she is interested in because she doesn't want to seem too keen and eager so she plays it cool and acts like she could take him or leave him. The thing is, some men play that game with women too, right? They play it cool, they act as though they could take her or leave her and sometimes that works but in many cases it doesn't work because some women are insecure and doubt their attractiveness to a guy. They don't want to show a lot of interest and pursue a guy only to then be rejected by him. As I said, sometimes it can work to do that but in many cases it doesn't. So what I'm going to teach you later on in the video is the easy way to do it, to get rid of all the mind games and just get the result that you want. Whether that be to have a relationship with her or have casual sex with her. Whatever result you're aiming to get, you'll get that by using the approach that I'll tell you in a minute. For now, I'll explain a little bit more about why a woman will stop pursuing a guy that she is interested in. She wants to see if he'll lose confidence and give up if she stops helping him by giving him such clear signals that she is interested. Alternatively, even though she's been showing lots of interest in him, he hasn't made a move to kiss her yet. As a result, she then begins to think that maybe there isn't enough of a spark between him and her for a kiss to happen. Maybe they'd be better off as friends. Another example is that he just keeps texting back and forth with her and it's going nowhere. He hasn't called her up to say hi and get her to catch up with him in person. As a result, she may begin to think that he's just playing her and keeping her warm while he sees other girls that he feels more attracted to. So rather than continuing to feel like she's just an option for him, she decides to stop showing interest or stop pursuing him. And finally, another reason why a girl might stop showing interest or stop pursuing a guy even though she likes him is that she wants to see if he will lose interest in her if she stops pursuing him. Many girls do that as a way to hopefully find out how much a guy actually likes them. Will he continue to try to get something going between him and her or will he simply lose interest in her if she stops pursuing him? Of course, another reason can be that she has genuinely lost interest in a guy and doesn't want to be with him anymore. In that case, how do you get her to feel interested again? Some guys think, well, I'll just lose interest back in her. If she has lost interest in me when we were getting along, then I'll give her a taste of her own medicine. I'll lose interest in her. I'll show her that I don't care. That can cause a woman to begin pursuing a man, but in many cases, it causes one of the following reactions instead. She fears getting rejected if she shows interest in him and he has genuinely lost interest in her. So rather than risk getting rejected, she just gets on with her life without him. Or she goes out on a date with another guy to make him feel jealous, but she then likes the new guy and gets into a relationship with him instead. Alternatively, she tries to get back at him for losing interest in her and seeming to reject her. So she begins to talk to him again, but refers to him as her friend or her buddy to hopefully make him feel rejected. So how do you avoid all the mind games and just get the girl that you want, right? How do you fix the problem and get the girl who has seemingly lost interest in you? What you need to do is very simple. Attraction followed by action. In other words, first you need to make sure that she is feeling attracted to you and then you need to take action to get things moving along between you and her. For example, if a guy was a pushover with a woman where he was too nice to her and she didn't feel any need to impress him, then he can make her feel attracted by now being a bit of a challenge for her to acquire. Another example is where a guy was just being neutral around a woman and talking to her in a friendly way as though there was no sexual attraction from his side. To get rid of the neutral dynamic between him and her, he can start behaving in a more masculine way around her to make her feel girly in comparison to him. That way, it's not neutral. She will see him as being the more dominant one and she'll feel feminine and turned on as a result. So how does the guy actually display those traits? Well, I'll give you two examples now of how you can display both of those traits at once, simply based on how you're talking to her. So a guy is talking to a girl that he likes and she asks him, so how was your day? If a guy is just being neutral and he's being a bit of a pushover, he is not making her feel any need to impress him 
and he's just being that neutral friend, he may reply with something like, oh, it's good, how about you? Now, there's nothing wrong with a guy talking to a girl in that way. It's totally fine to have a neutral conversation with a girl that you like. However, if you want to make her feel attracted to you, what you need to do is display some of the personality traits and behaviors that are naturally attractive to women. When you display these personality traits and behaviors, women literally begin to feel attracted to you, drawn to you, and even turned on by you. I'm not talking about a woman being turned on to the point where she drops to her knees and says, unbuckle your belt, let's get this thing going. But I'm talking about her beginning to feel turned on by you, feeling excited around you, imagining having sex with you, liking what she's imagining, and wanting to interact with you more as a result. So if a guy's talking to a girl that he likes and she asks him, so how was your day? He can say something like this to be a bit more of a challenge and make her feel girly and feminine in comparison to his masculinity or his balls, his rawness, his manliness and so on. How was my day? Well, it was going great until you arrived. Just kidding. I've been having a good day and now it's even better because you're here and you're going to buy me a coffee and a cake. Such a great girl, always buying me things. Of course, it doesn't matter if the girl takes care of the bill and buys the guy a coffee or a cake, or if they split the bill, or if the guy wants to get her a coffee and a cake, that stuff doesn't matter. What matters and makes her feel attracted is that he has the balls to be a bit challenging as he talks to her. He also makes her feel girly and feminine in comparison to his masculine presence in the interaction, and that turns her on. Another example is where a guy is talking to a girl that he likes and she takes a selfie of herself and then asks his opinion. Does the selfie look good? What does he think? And so on. A guy who is being a pushover or is always neutral around the girl that he likes might say something like, oh, it looks good. Very nice. Now, there's nothing wrong with a guy saying something like that. But if a guy is in a situation where the girl that he likes is losing interest in him because he has been too neutral around her or has been a bit of a pushover, he can use things that she says or does to make her feel sparks of sexual attraction for him. He can do that by displaying some of the personality traits and behaviors that are naturally attractive to women. So if a guy's talking to a girl that he likes and she takes a selfie of herself and then asks him, does it look good? He can say something like this. Wow. That is the worst selfie I've ever seen. She'll most likely know that he's joking and they'll have a laugh together, but if she does ask him, no, what do you think? Do you really think that? Does it look bad? And so forth. He can continue the joke a little bit more by saying something like this. No, just kidding. I think you look cute. But next time, try to pout a little bit more. Do those selfie duck lips. I think that will really suit you. That will look cool. Once again, she is almost certainly going to know that he is joking and they can have a laugh together about that. She is going to feel attracted to the fact that he isn't being as neutral as he usually is around her and he isn't being as much of a pushover, right? He's being a bit of a challenge. He's making her feel a bit girly in comparison to his masculine presence in the interaction. She doesn't feel like the more dominant one anymore and as a result, she feels attracted and turned on by him. Another similar response that a guy can give to a girl he likes who is asking him a question. So what do you think of this selfie? What do you think of this photo? Does this photo of me look good? What do you think? And so on is to say something like this. Give me a look. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. She is almost certainly then going to laugh and ask if he's being serious and she may even begin to feel a bit insecure in that moment if she feels as though he is being serious. You know, many women are insecure about their appearance and they thrive on getting compliments from men. So when a man has the balls to playfully say that one of her photos isn't very attractive, a woman will pay attention to that. And a guy can then put her insecure mind at ease by saying something like this. Just kidding. I think you look cute. She is then going to appreciate his compliment so much more because the guy that she is feeling attracted to in that moment, in that interaction, thinks that she is cute too. Yet, he doesn't just give her compliments like that easily. She has to work for it. She has to impress him. She has to maintain his interest. As a result, she is coming at him, right? She wants to be with him. It's going to be about him allowing her to have a chance with him. Yet, an important thing to point out here though is that if you want to get the girl you like, you shouldn't stop 
at just making her feel attracted to you. In almost all cases, you have to take some action to get things moving along between you and her. Here's why. If a guy makes a woman feel girly in comparison to his masculinity and is being a bit of a challenge, she will feel attracted. Yet, if he is too much of a challenge and doesn't give her any indication that he likes her, she can become insecure. If she becomes insecure, she may begin to play mind games and play hard to get. So, you have to make sure that when she feels attracted, you then take action to keep things moving along between you and her. For example, a guy who takes action when a girl is feeling attracted to him will then hug her, kiss her, invite her back to his place, have sex with her or make plans to hang out or catch up again. Unfortunately, a lot of guys end up missing out on being with the girl that they really want to be with because they don't take action and instead they become passive. Here are some examples of a guy being passive with a girl that he likes versus taking action. Being passive. Guy likes a girl. She seems to have lost interest so he waits for her to make a move. Sometimes that can work if the girl really likes him and builds up her courage to ask him out or flirt with him and then move in for a first kiss. Yet if that isn't happening after weeks of waiting, a guy needs to take some action to get things moving along between him and her. So taking action. Guy likes a girl, she seems to have lost interest, he makes sure that she's feeling attracted to him again, then he asks for her phone number, invites her out for a coffee or a bite to eat, and then they can get to a first kiss. After that, they'll most likely begin seeing each other casually or they'll become boyfriend and girlfriend right away. Another example of being passive versus taking action. Guy likes a girl, she seems to have lost interest. He ignores her in the hope that it will make her want him more. She notices that he seems to have lost interest. She doesn't want to show interest in him and then get rejected if he really has lost interest in her. If those sort of mind games go on for long enough, a woman will usually just meet another guy and get into a relationship with him instead. So taking action. Guy likes a girl, she seems to have lost interest, he makes sure that she's feeling attracted to him again, then he invites her over to his place to hang out, invites her out to have something to eat or drink, and then they can get to a kiss, sex, and start an actual relationship. Finally, another example of being passive versus taking action. A guy likes a girl, she seems to have lost interest, so he just hopes that something will happen all by itself. He hopes that somehow she'll begin to like him in a romantic and sexual way. Somehow they'll go out on a date and somehow a kiss will happen. Yet when he takes that approach with her, she fears being rejected or assumes that he isn't interested in her anymore, so she ends up meeting a new guy instead. So, taking action. Guy likes a girl, she seems to have lost interest, he makes sure that she's feeling attracted to him, then he gets her number and arranges for them to catch up for a coffee, a bite to eat, or to hang out at his place. In other words, rather than approaching his dating life in a passive way, he pursues the girls that he wants, and gets the girls that he wants. Where a lot of guys get stuck is that they think that pursuing a woman is needy. It's not. If a guy pursues a woman in a desperate way where he's hoping to get a chance with her and he's sucking up to her and he's trying really hard, then yes, that is needy. Yet, what real men do is go after what they want in life. And there's nothing wrong with that. Women actually respect it, they appreciate it, they like it when a guy has so much interest in them that he is willing to pursue them, he is willing to get something going between him and her. He's not doing it in a desperate way though, he's just going after what he wants, he's getting something going between him and her. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you are one of the guys who gets stuck at certain points along the way with girls that you like, then I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the audiobook version, The Flow on Audio. The Flow is everything that you need to know to go from hello to sex with a woman that you find attractive. For a guy who wants to get a girl that he already knows, he simply needs to use the attraction techniques from The Flow to make sure that she is definitely feeling attracted to him. He can then take things to the next level with her by using the techniques from The Flow to initiate physical touch in a way that she wants and welcomes. He can then use the flow techniques to get to a first kiss and sex. For a guy who wants to attract and pick up new women, you simply need to go through the steps of the flow. When you follow the flow, you and a woman immediately flow from one step to the next with each other. It's the easiest way to get laid or get a girlfriend. 
One final point that I want to make for you in this video is that so many guys miss out on being with the girl that they really want because they overthink it. What if I get rejected? What if the conversation doesn't go too well? What if I ask her out for a coffee and she says no? What if I talk to her and I run out of things to say? What if it's a little bit awkward? Get rid of the what ifs and just get the job done. Right? Do what you need to do to get the girl that you want. Otherwise, you'll most likely end up accepting a girl that you don't want. And that's no way to live as a man, to live with that regret that you could have gotten with the girl that you really wanted to be with, but you were overthinking it. She could reject me. The conversation might not go very well. She might initially say no to going out for coffee. The thing is, if you want to make sure that you're going to get the girl that you really like, then you need to make sure that you are aware of how to attract her as you talk to her and you actually do that and then you don't stop at that point. You actually get things moving along between you and her. When you approach your dating life in that way, you will see that it's very easy to date women. It's very easy to enjoy your choice of women because most guys don't talk to the girls that they really like and if they do, most of them don't really know how to make her feel attracted, so nothing ever happens. Additionally, if the girl is feeling attracted, many guys stop at that point. They fear being rejected. They don't ask her out. They doubt themselves. So when you are a guy who cuts through all the games and just makes women feel attracted to you and then takes action, you will see that there's hardly any competition. Women will go on a date with you and you can then kiss, have sex and start a relationship if you want to. When it comes to your dating life with women, I recommend that you pursue rather than being passive. Get the girl you want.